The first primitive reflex is rooting. The position that you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline. The first stimulus that you're going to do is you're going to stroke your finger laterally at the corner of their mouth and they're going to turn their head to that side. The second one, you're going to stroke your finger on the upper lip and they're going to open their mouth and extend the jaw. And then the third one is you rub your finger on the lower lip and they're going to flex their jaw and then open their mouth. And that is rooting the first primitive reflex. Yeah, primitive reflex is sucking swallow. The position that you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline. The stimulus that you want to do is place the finger or nipple in the mouth. The response that the baby should have is a strong rhythmical sucking followed by swallowing. The third primitive reflex is Moro. The position that you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline with the upper extremities across the chest. The stimulus that you will give the baby is hold them behind their head and drop them back about 30 degrees. Their response should be extension and abduction of the upper extremities followed by crying and then flexion and adduction across the chest. And that is the third primitive reflex, Moro. The fourth primitive reflex is traction, also called pull to sit. The position that you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline. The stimulus that you're going to give the baby is grasp the forearms and pull them. The response that they're going to give is flexion of the shoulders, elbows, wrists, and fingers, which shows the baby's trying to pull themselves up. And that is the fourth primitive reflex, traction. The fifth primitive reflex is crossed extension. The position that you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline. The stimulus that you're going to give the baby is noxious stimulation to the ball of the foot while holding the knee down. The response of the baby should be on the contralateral limb, flexion, adduction, and then extension of the legs, and abduction of the toes. That is the fifth primitive reflex, cross extension. The next primitive reflex is flexor withdrawal. The position that you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline. The stimulus that you're going to give the baby is a pin prick to the sole of the foot, and the response of the baby should be extension of the toes, dorsiflexion of the ankle, and flexion of the knees and hips. And that is flexor withdrawal. The next primitive reflex is the plantar grasp. The position you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline. The stimulus that you're going to give the baby is press the thumb into the ball of the infant's foot and their response is going to be flexion of the toes. And that is plantar grasp. The next primitive reflex is the palmar grasp. The position you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline. The stimulus you're going to give the baby is insert the finger on the ulnar side and press against the palm. The response of the baby is going to be quick flexion and adduction of the fingers and sustained flexion and holding. And that is the palmar grasp. The next primitive reflex is galant. Is it galant or galant? <laughs> the next primitive reflex is galant or galant, tomato, tomato. The position you want the baby in is prone. The stimulus that you're going to give the baby is sliding the finger parallel to the spine from the 12th rib to the iliac crest and the response of the child should be curving the trunk towards the stimulated side. And that is gallant or gallant. Next primitive reflex is neonatal neck riding on body. The position that you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline. The stimulus you're going to give the baby is rotating the head to one side and the response of the baby is a body log roll to the side of the head turn. And that is neonatal neck riding on body. The next primitive reflex is neonatal body riding on body. The position you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline. The stimulus you're going to give the baby is flex the leg towards the chest and rotate. And the response of the baby is going to be a body log roll. And that is neonatal body riding on body. This primitive reflex is proprioceptive placing of the lower extremity. The position you want the baby in is suspending them in a vertical position. The stimulus you're going to give them is pressing the dorsal side of the foot against the edge of a table, and their response is going to be hip and knee flexion, ankle dorsiflexion, and then extension of the hip and knee to place on top of the table. And that is proprioceptive placing of the lower extremity.
Primitive reflex is proprioceptive placing of the upper extremity. The position that you want the baby in is to where the dorsal side of their hand is near the edge of the table. The stimulus you're going to give the baby is pressing the dorsal side of the hand against the table edge, and their response is going to be shoulder and elbow flexion, shoulder and elbow extension, and then finger extension and abduction to place on top of the table. That is proprioceptive placing of the upper extremity. Primitive reflex is neonatal positive support. The position that you want the baby in is a vertical upright position. The stimulus that you're going to give the baby is allowing the feet to make contact with a flat surface. The baby's response is going to be hip and knee partial flexion with partial weight bearing. And that is neonatal positive support. The next primitive reflex is spontaneous stepping. The position that you want the baby in is a vertical upright position. The stimulus that you're going to give the baby is the feet touch a supporting surface and the baby leans forward, and their response is alternating stepping movements with both legs. And that is spontaneous stepping. The next primitive reflex is tonic labyrinth. The position is the stimulus. In prone, the child will have a greater flexion tone. The child's arms will be up underneath, the knees will be tucked under, and the butt should be up in the air. In supine, the response is going to be a greater extension tone, as you see. And that is tonic labyrinth. Primitive reflex is asymmetrical tonic neck reflex, ATNR. The position that you want the baby in is supine with the head in the midline. The stimulus that you're going to give the baby is turning the head actively or passively. The response of the baby towards the head turned side is going to be extension of the arm and leg, and away from the head turned side, flexion of the arm and leg, and that is asymmetrical tonic neck reflex. ATNR! Next primitive reflex is symmetrical tonic neck reflex, STNR. The position that you're going to have the baby in is ventral suspension over lap. The stimulus that you're going to give the baby is flexion of the head and extension of the head. During flexion of the head, the baby's response should be upper extremity flexion, and lower extremity extension. During extension of the head, the response should be upper extremity extension and lower extremity flexion. That is symmetrical tonic neck reflex, STNR. Next primitive reflex is associate reactions. The position that you want the baby in is sitting. The stimulus is going to be squeezing a toy for 15 seconds. The response of the child is going to be to duplicate those movements in the contralateral limb. And that is associate reaction.